Good morning, Upper Dublin. We are back with another UDTV episode. So Jada, have you heard about my culminating project? No, Quinn. Do you care to explain? Well, me and my good friend Matthew Shields are setting up boxes for people to donate coats and jackets to Cradles for Crowns. Well, that sounds wonderful. I'll make sure to donate. Why, thank you, Jada. So the other day, I was on my way to the mall, and have you seen the new construction site over there? It's huge. Yeah, Jada, you know, I've always what's going on there. I think it's actually a mystery. Well, let's go hit the streets and find out. Hey, UD. Welcome back to Hitting the Streets. I'm your host, Tom Perry. In this special edition of Hitting the Streets, we're in Dresher, outside the new promenade at Upper Dublin. Projected to open in the summer of 2020, this large shopping center will be the first of its kind in the township and will draw many shoppers from throughout the region. Let's go check it out. As you can see behind us, construction is broken ground and work continues on a day-to-day -day basis. Right now, this may just look like an ordinary construction site, but under two years, it will be a four to five story complex. The promenade at Upper Dublin will be located at the corner of Welsh and Cheshirtown Roads. This project will give a Main Street feel to the township and will feature luxury apartments and retail. Specifically, let's focus on the retail of the UD Promenade. This project will feature 128,000 square feet of retail space and include major tenants including REI and Sprouts Grocery Store. In addition, a Redstone Grill along with a Starbucks and many other smaller businesses. In addition to the retail, new apartments and houses will be built on the property along with a two-acre park and walking trails, creating more public spaces for residents to enjoy. So UD, come check out the progress of the new promenade at Upper Dublin, and remember, support your local small businesses. You know, Jada, I'm pretty handy when it comes to construction myself, and I think they're doing a wonderful job. I'm sure you aren't handy, but... Well, I'm going to let that slide. All right, how are you, everybody? Um, so we're here with Mr. Horn today. How are you, Mr. Horn? I'm doing really well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. So you are the coordinator of electives, is that right? Yeah, most electives here at the high school. So let me ask you, what electives do you teach here at the high school? Um, I, I guess my, my primary responsibility is as the band director here. Um, this is my uh, going to be my 10th year here at Upper Dublin High School. Um, I direct the band, which is a, a class um, that, that musicians can take during the day. Um, as well as our AP Music Theory, which kind of gets into the nuts and bolts of how to compose music. Um, and uh, shout out to my yearbook kids. Uh, I also, um, we also have a yearbook class that um, I'm proud to uh, work with. Yeah, well, I know. Speaking about the band, you guys have done a marvelous job over the past couple years. I can say Thank that. You. Um, you are here after school a lot. I see you all around. So. <laughs> Yes. What do you like to do at the school? What are you involved in with that? Um, I, I, you're absolutely right. Uh, most of the most of the gig is uh, after school. Um, pretty much, it's seasonal uh, with uh, with every band director. Um, so in the fall and in the summer, um, we're, we're we're really knocking out uh, marching band, um, which we're we're super proud of um, because uh, those are some of the most dedicated kids in the school. Um, that'll take us all the way through. Um, you know, with our football team being so so awesome. Uh, all the way through uh, December. Um, and then we're off to uh, starting our jazz band program, which uh, they actually have their first competition. I'm supporting them with my Coltrane shirt. Uh, they have their first competition tonight, um, as well as our musical theater program. Uh, we we um, are very proud to have live musicians um, help out by playing in the, in the pit for um, this year, Greece. So it's, it's very seasonal, kind of goes from one activity to the next. So yeah, a lot of it is, is after school. So you're moving all the time. Moving all the time. Uh, well, I really appreciate all the hard work you do for the school district. Thank you um, very much. Mr. Horn again. Um, for all of us here, have a great day. Have a great day. Alleviating. Explicit. Deteriorate. Gift. Consolatory. Sigh. Sigh. That was a warm up for the very calming ASMR segment Ryan produced and starred in. Hi, everybody. We're doing something very relaxing today. It is called ASMR. In order to do ASMR, we have to be really silent and whistling. 
whisper the entire time. I promise that I will do my best to make sure that you are nice and relaxed by the end of this video. First, we are going to talk about the best letter in the alphabet, which is the letter S. In my hand is a list of words that begin with the letter S. Swizzle. Squeeze. Scruffy. Sky. Squarey. Before we continue with our ASMR, I am going to drink a glass of water. <laughs> For those of you who didn't know, ASMR actually stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. I think you actually pronounce it autom autonom Well, you guys can let us know. But whatever it means, it was very relaxing. But not as relaxing as getting out on that ice and playing a good game of hockey. Don't you guys get mercy ruled every single time? What is this, an interrogation? Over to Talk Sports, where my important member C.J. Staley sat down with previous Suburban One Sports Bergies Hockey Player of the Week and my teammate, Ari Nordlinger. Welcome to Utah Talk Sports. I'm your host, C.J. Staley. Quinn thought today was the snow day. Couldn't make it in today, but I will be the host in lieu. I'm here with Ari Nordlinger, uh, Bergies Player of the Week for hockey. Thanks, C.J. Really glad to be here today. Sit down with you guys. Go Cards. And so... With this hockey season, how has it been pl playing out for you guys? Well, we definitely don't have the record we want, but we have one final game this week, which I would love for you guys to come out. But at the beginning of the season, we just didn't really know how to play, but now we're kind of getting along with it. So for the fans' sake, where do you guys play? Where can they find you at? Well, usually we're at this rink called Hatfield Ice, which is right up 309, probably around 20 minutes from here. And then we also have another rink, which is Winter Sport which is like five minutes from Willow Grove Mall, so close by. So in the season, you have a few uh, seniors, Chris, Barbera, Quinn Burns, and yourself. How have they impacted the team this season? Well, Chris Barbera is our captain of the team, and he gives a very good game speech before the game. He gets us hyped during the game, and Quinn also does that, but Quinn's more of the, you know, score go he, he scores a lot of goals, so watch out for him this game. So, your last game and your senior night is on February 21st, today. Um, would you like to say anything to the fans? You know, it's, it's our last game playing, so if you haven't seen a game yet, please come check it out. Or even if you have seen a few games, just come check out our last game. So. Uh, you can see Quinn Stryker Burns, who will try to get a, his 200th career goal tonight. Um, he's going to Boston College next year. You have Ari, who's looking. He's probably going to Notre Dame for hockey. And then Chris Barbera, who's going to Westchester to play football. Big hits out of them. Go Cardinals. Well, Quinn, this is your last high school season. How do you feel? Honestly, it was a good time. Even greater group of guys. Everyone should come out to the game tonight. UD and 8? No, but UD at 7-10 tonight at Hatfield Ice. Fun fact, actually, in ninth grade, I was in the ASA. You're lying. Absolutely not. I watched that episode of Ant Farm where Olive was in every single club, so of course I wanted to be in every single club. But it was actually really fun. Oh, you know what? I think I learned about ASA in chemistry. No, Quinn, that's acetylistic acid, commonly called aspirin. I'm talking about Asian Student Association. Well, that's actually making a lot more sense. Besides you being in it and all. Welcome to the district. I'm Josh Portney the News Desk. Today is Thursday, February 21st, 2019. Here's the latest news from around the district. Last Saturday, the Asian Students Association and the Asian American Student and Family Committee 
sponsored a Lunar New Year celebration at the high school. There was food, dancing, crafts, music, and fun. Hundreds of people came out for the event, which celebrated the Asian ritual of the Lunar New Year. I had a chance to speak with Hannah Shao, the student ambassador to the Asian American Student and Family Committee. Here's what she had to say about the event. So the, today at this event, I was uh, I emceed because I'm a student ambassador of the Asian American Students and Family Committee, which sponsors this event. Uh, we've also partnered with the Upper Dublin Asian Students Associ Association, um, and this is their annual dinner to raise money for their Relay for Life team. What are the other goals of the committee here? Uh, the committee is also pushing for more um, Asian representation in the curriculum. In other news, Upper Dublin continued its year-long celebration of the tricentennial with a firework display. Fireworks lit up the night as hundreds gathered to see the spectacle. This is only the beginning of the marquee series of events that UD has in store for the tricentennial celebration. Check back with us next week as we talk about the rest of them. Thanks for watching. This has been The District. Well, Josh, that was great coverage as always. I'm Quinn. I'm Jada. And, and this, this has been, been Your, your UDTV. UDTV.